Hey there guys, Neil here, back with another screencast. So for this particular episode, I wanted to share a way to get, or at least try out the user interface for Windows Phone on your Android device. So um, if you're like me, I had the uh, Zune 80 gig and the Zune HD. I love the user interface. It was the first probably quote unquote mobile UI that I actually had an interaction with. Um, iOS and Android came along. I actually prefer the Android side of things a little bit more. But I still had a um, desire to get this kind of UI back. So every so, so often I want to try it out and or at least have that kind of interface on my Android device. Uh, mostly because I like or I'm in the Google uh, ecosystem. So moving to a Windows phone would require a lot of third party apps and switching to some, for the most part other apps that um, Windows phone doesn't have that's available for Google. So. Um, in the meantime, I can still get that experience on my Android device. So what I've done, as you can see here, is I've already installed an app called uh, Launcher 8 WP Style. So basically, it's um, a launcher you install from Google Play. Doing that search will uh, bring it up, or I'll have a link in the show notes for you guys to get direct access to it. But once you do that, you'll see that I have a bunch of different apps. So I have a shortcut to Instagram, uh, my gallery... Um, WhatsApp, Key, Facebook, Feedly, and then so swiping over, you see my um, app, all my apps in a vertical um, sort of way. So, um, with that, I will jump right into reviewing the app itself. So, for example, to start, um, you have we have this interface right here, but this is um, based on a customizations by me and all that. The default UI has, for example, a phone, camera, weather, a couple of widgets, and things like that. But they can all be removed and um, adjusted to however you want. So, for example, if you want to add an app to your home screen, uh, let's say I want to add um, a shortcut to Chrome. All you do is long press it, and you'll get a nice menu to pin it to your start menu, hide it, get details of the app, or uninstall. So the first thing I'll do is I'll pin it to the start menu and you'll get a nice little notification saying it's added. Um, so if I scroll to the bottom, I now have that icon. Uh, long pressing on the icon gives you all the options you need. So if you did it by, if you selected by accident, you can touch the little check, the pin on the top right to delete it. If you want to resize the icon to de certain default sizes, you touch the arrow like that. So it'll make it a one by one icon. Um, the arrow after that will make it a, in this case, uh, fit it to the, your grid. So for example, in this case, four by one. Um, and then moving up a little bit and selecting it, doing the arrow will make it a two by one. And that can all be just like that. Touching the little pencil gives you some more options. So in this case, you see here the sizes one by one and, and you can set it to be up to four by four just by dragging your finger. Um, and it can be adjusted like that. Um, this is probably more, most useful in the case of mm -hmm. folders, which I'll get to in a little bit. Um, and let's say you want a particular icon, but you want it to open a different app. You can touch uh, bind apps and you get your full list of apps to select from there. Um, system apps are off by default. So if you touch that box, you can enable them or just basically mm -hmm. do a toggle that way. Um, you can set or it starts off your or your tile started off with a default background color which is in your settings but you can adjust it to whatever you wish so in my case i want a little bit of that material design style so i want to match my i my tile uh, background to my icon a little bit since chrome has for example a bunch of red in it i'll uh, select red and you get the icon overlay as well um there are um, basically five colors a red yellow green black and white so I might want to pick something a little bit darker, so maybe the default I had uh, works best. And then you can also send kind of some transparencies if you want to have certain parts hidden or one particular um, tile have transparent a transparent background. Um, you can also um, adjust the size of the icon, so the default is centered, or you can have it stretched so it'll fit to the tile. Or you can have it oriented so it fits automatically to whatever the size of your icon is. And then if you want to have the name show up, you there's a toggle for that. Um, and you can adjust it if you want to. Instead of saying Chrome Dev, I can rename it to Browser or just Chrome or anything like that. And adjust the orientation as well. Um, so that's really all there is for uh, tiles. 
So now let's say you want to add a widget or a folder. So you'll hit your little menu icon and do add. Um, so you get the option to add a new tile. So you get a bunch of stock options um, based on what's built in. So your clock, flashlight, a menu button. Um, touching the menu just opens your menu. Um, going back, um, you can do a custom tile. So if you realize that there's a um, particular app where you want to have certain settings installed automatically or by or customize, sorry, um, then you can have that done as well. Um, you can also select to add a folder, which um, it starts off with one, touching it will um, open it up. And then long pressing on the icon will allow you to remove uh, what the default is. Um, ideally, you want to add um, whatever app or a couple of extra apps first and then um, uh, delete anything that you don't want. So in this case, uh, I will slide up, touch the plus sign. Let's say add, I want a folder for all my, for my two Amazon, or let's say all my Amazon apps there. So now they've shown up, I can delete this first one. And now I have a folder for just Amazon apps. And then you can, well, if you go into editing mode, you can rearrange them. And then if you need to, um, if you want to resize them, that can be done as well. So you get um, a customized folder that way as well. Since I don't really need it, um, I can all remove that. It'll give you a warning to, that says that asking you if you're sure you want to remove it, nothing will be saved. So just a bit of a warning there. And then in the same ad menu, you can also add your uh, custom widget. So anything that's supported within the launcher will show up. So your uh, digital analog clocks, if you have them, flashlight, Play Store, um, Firefox, Wikipedia, whatever is in there. Same thing with WhatsApp if you have, want to do that or HD widgets for your weather. Mm -hmm as you see at the bottom of my screen here. So that's basically all that, everything that you can um, have entered. So, and then I also, so for example, for my widgets, I have Pocket Cast um, here and uh, um, HD widgets down at the bottom. So it's a little bit of separator between some of the different apps on my home screen. Um, hitting the menu button and going into settings provides a bunch of, or uh, several other options as well. Um, I, for example, I have it set to my default launcher, so the first option is on. If, there's also a toolbox available, so when you turn that on, when you uh, open your notification drawer, you can get things like access to all your apps, uh, toggles for Wi-Fi, mobile data, and flashlight, and then also turning your ringtone or your sound on and off, so um, if you want quick access to that as well. Um, there's no vibrate mode, so... Um, that's kind of a bummer there, but if you're on a custom ROM, it's not a big deal. But if you want that quick access in the toolbar as an option. Um, in the start plus theme, you have the option to set what your background is. If you just want a solid black or white, um, I just I have it set to black. And then if you want whatever you want your stock accent color to be, you can pick uh, one from or a default one that's from the grid you see, or you can add your own color um, if you want to. Uh, set a custom color that maybe your favorite color is something you don't see here and then you can also enable or disable any wallpaper and then choose whatever uh, picture you want if you do want a wallpaper so nothing uh, too spectacular there but um, if you're trying to set your wallpaper from the back from the generic menu and it's not working um, it's probably that the t setting is disabled here so just something to uh, no make note of and then you can have tile settings. So I have four columns um, set up. You can have up to six. Mm -hmm. And then there's also the tile padding. So how much space between tiles you get. Uh, tile transparency, I have it set to 50%. So I see enough of my, it's mostly for my weather widgets so that I can see it properly. And then other transparency options as well. Um, is, and then I uh, have the ability to long press it, um, edit tiles. Um, and then there's an option to have tile rotation, which basically just rotates your tile on your home screen. It's not really a feature I care about, so I have it off. But then I also have screen turning animation. So what this does is when you open an app, you're, you'll look like it's flipping a page when you open that app. So for example, let's say I open a Feedly, 
the tiles will fly out towards you from right to left so you kind of, so you get um that kind of cool effect there i kind of like that um i don't see any or there's not any customization options if you want to make that faster or slower but um i so i'm guessing it probably de uh, defaults to whatever your device can handle but a pretty cool effect there um you can also have status bar adjustments so you can have the windows phone style um notification bar i have it set to the android's default just because uh, when i uh, swipe down it's uh, still going to def default to the stock Android one, so um, I don't really care about that, but you can have a couple of other, you have a couple of other options on uh, there. Um, and then you have push notifications if you use some of the built-in um, features of the app, like weather and things like that. So I have that off, don't really need that. Um, there is also a lock screen that is available. Um, I don't use it as I don't really need it. But if you want to have a um, slightly customized uh, lock screen that's in the Windows phone style, that can be done as well. But uh, nothing there for me or uh, nothing of interest for me. Um, and then finally, you have an uh, app list setting. So basically, basically this is your um, full on app drawer. Um, you can have the option to hide apps if you want. Um, I have nothing hidden, so nothing there but if you do want to hide for example stock apps that you don't use and that can be done um you can any toggle the ability to search high, hidden apps so if you do need to find them and you have it hidden you can see that um you can adjust the text color of the app list as well if you want um i have my list sorted alphabetically so nothing special there um, I just like it in alphabetical order, but the most the thing of note here is that you can have the Windows Phone style, System style, or um, Android Grid. So the Windows Phone style is the list that you saw earlier. So when you swipe up, you get the um, up and down, um, going back into the settings. Um, you can have the System style, which is whatever your default your defi um, the launcher default is. So you can um, do that. And the Android style is basically just a standard grid of um, columns. So when you swipe over, you have your grid if you uh, still prefer that. Um, in the case of this, it does look a little bit messy to me. So I prefer to have, or I still do the Windows phone style. Um, you can toggle the indexing of the first letter of the app name. Uh, basically what this does is actually a pretty cool feature. So I'll turn it back on as I do use that. But you see my app list, they're all sorted by A, B, C, D. Now, let's say I wanted to jump to uh, Yahoo, or sorry, um, my gallery, but I didn't want to scroll all the way down to G. By mm -hmm. touching the whatever letter is I, I'm at, it'll open up the alphabet. Touch G, it opens all my apps that start with G. So I can open my gallery mm -hmm. or Goodreads, for example, and I can get to, or I can mm -hmm. jump to that um, very quickly. Mm -hmm. So that's really the bulk of it the app also has the ability to install uh different themes if you want that or want a certain stock or different adjustments to be made to the launcher itself that way uh there's nothing really much for me i'm a pretty uh basic generic type of user so um that's what i did here um the only other thing is let's say you do want to kind of for me this is kind of i'm calling it a material look and feel just because i put the colors behind the icons but uh, let's say you do want to change the color of your various tiles. All you'll do, for example, is I'll long press on my Hangouts icon and touch the uh, picture. And when you click on background, you can pick whatever color you want that matches the color of your app. So I'll pick this one, for example, and then you can go up to the preview and you see that what it looks like. So it's kind of dark to me. So I'll pick, let's say, this one instead. A uh, little bit better. Um, Let's try this one just for the sake of it. Um, to me, that looks totally off, so I'll just stick to this one, and that's it. And then you can do the same thing for any of them. So, for example, in my gallery app, there's a bunch of purple, so or violet is what this color is called. So there's violet, there's uh, pink as well, um, or if, even that. So whatever color you want to pick. So even if you want to do contrasting colors or anything like that, that is also an option. So the launcher is free in uh, Google Play. So you, um, a search should or the results should come up by doing a launcher AWP style. 
But like I said, it, um, I will have a link in the show notes in case you want to check it out. But it is a pretty cool uh, interface. The performance is very, very smooth. I do like the that there's a recently um, launched app section and then the animation as well for when um, apps are open. And in case you're wondering what the top left of, the la- of my home screen is, it's actually the live tile for contact. So um, you can either do the, you can either uh, set your, I think for me it's under people. So if you already have a, a widget that you use for all your contacts, that can be done. But there is a built-in live contacts tile that basically just opens your uh, contacts app, but it flips through any images that are saved on your or that's synced with your accounts or whatever filter options you have set. So that's really all for this particular review. So if you have any questions or comments, you can email me at Patel, or sorry, headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at PatelN01. But that's all for this particular screencast. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.